Uncertainty looms over Stamford as the upcoming elections approach. Residents abstaining from elections points to ongoing challenges with service delivery in services such as potable water, sanitation, electricity and inadequate infrastructure as reasons for not voting. These issues, coupled with a history of unfulfilled campaign promises, they say, have eroded trust in the political process for some Stamford residents. The case of 72-year-old Franz Novaseb illustrates the personal impact of these broader issues. Despite having voted consistently since Namibia's independence, Novaseb plans to sit out this election. His decision stems from frustrations over his wife's inability to receive her qualifying pension and the lack of drought relief support for his household. <laughs> We hear on radio every other day about developments taking place in other areas but not Stamprit. And when it comes to the distribution of drought relief, some households receive full packages while others don't at all. And yet they want people to go vote. As for me and my wife, we will not vote. Despite the doubts that some people have, there are still those who plan to vote, holding on to the conviction that their participation in the democratic process will bring about positive change or at least help maintain a voice in matters that affect their future. We live among waste which has turned into a dump site all over the place. There are no toilets and we have to use the bush to relieve ourselves as well as the children and it's not safe for us. But I will vote in hopes that it makes a difference but my vote remains my secret. Residents say as the election approaches, the decision to vote or abstain is not just a political one, but it is deeply tied to the residents' broader sense of trust in the institutions and systems meant to serve them. Siamantikwa, NBC News.